the dory is off the trailer because the trailer needs maintenance, namely rust removal, before the rust removes the trailer out from under the boat. And since the dory is off the trailer, it's a good time for dory maintenance. That opening clip is the first one I've shot with my cell phone. What follows the intro is the second clip. Don't worry, it's short. Too much trouble to turn my phone upright and shoot it again. The way I got the dory off the trailer was back it up to this post, tied Tied it off the post to the motor shaft and drove the trailer out from under the dory, propping it up as I went. This dory, let's see, what is this, 23, built in 50, eight years old, has had no real maintenance. It's covered with fiberglass on the outside, on the bottom, and the bow. Inside is completely coated with epoxy and then covered with minwax spar urethane, but you can see at the lowest part of the bottom where rainwater sits, because my trailer, the wheels are so big that this is the low point on the trailer when it's parked. Water does collect. I've neglected it some. So what I will do is sand that, pour in more epoxy, and cover it again with urethane. The trim is urethane, but not epoxy. And looks like we've got a little separation right here. The paint is held up remarkably well. It's got some rub spots here. I might take this motor off. I put it on there. I don't like going out on the ocean without a backup motor. Never used it. Try to remember to start it every year or two to see if it runs and uh, seldom go on the ocean and we've got cell phones and there's the Coast Guard in the unlikely event we ever need assistance but eight years no maintenance I'd say it's in pretty good shape cleaning out the boat stripping it of everything that can be removed easily Take the cover off and there's a mouse nest I got through a space half the diameter of my little finger to get down into here. Don't know if they're still here. Kind of hope not. No motion. Okay. Uh, smells a little bit like mice. Okay, am I going to take the battery out? I think I will. Most of these rusty screw eyes broke off. When I tried to turn them out, I'll replace them with either stainless or brass. Every one of them. Can't remember what I had this on here for, but I believe I want it off. Turning into the real problem here is getting this off. Doesn't want to turn. Got this one to turn. That one's loose. This one turned a little bit, but that pin is shearing. And it's not turned enough either to go on or to go off.
and there went the pin. I put a uh, liquid wrench on both sides of this. I think I just need a little more. Usually when I say just a little more, something breaks. Yeah, it will. That should come off. This is going to be interesting. There was almost no clearance to get this on here. Nope. It's pressed into the wood far enough. It's got to come out even more before it will come free. Why, you might ask, don't I just leave it on there? Never use it. Almost always in protected waters. And, uh, I got a cell phone. It's turning more freely now. Now that one's looser than this one. Good. This one also is turning freely, relatively speaking. Okay, now I think it's time to start sweeping and swabbing. I doubt I will ever take this motor off this boat, but just in case. I think I'll just do that every now and then.
If I'd had my large shop vac out here, I could have sucked up all of these leaves with it, but I didn't want to go back to the basement to lug it out here. I just have my small one. Almost ready for the vacuum cleaner. Almost, but not quite. A disadvantage of a flat bottom boat is, unless you are parked perfectly level, water will collect on one side or the other. If I were doing this again, I think I would figure some way to put weep holes along the chine logs rather than just at the keelson. Well, I missed photographing the vacuuming, but don't worry, there's more. Right now, it's time for another thrill, sanding. Well, here's what we got done today. I've just sanded all the way around as much as I'm going to. Vacuum all the dust. Since I was working outside the boat, I had to have the sander exhaust port pointed inside the boat. So it naturally filled up with all that damn dust from wood, epoxy, and urethane so then I had to clean it all out I need to be able to see bare wood or bare boat bottom to sand it where it needs sanding and then I'm going to epoxy the entire interior of the bottom again and put urethane over that again it's going to be a while before we get back in the water 